Mediation is an absolutely essential tool for the United Nations as it engages in all sorts of efforts to prevent conflict, to manage a conflict or to work towards its resolution. It's a process by which a third party works with two or more parties to help them arrive at mutually acceptable agreements. From within the Mediation Support Unit, we provide exactly that mediation support to a wide number of clients. We work with colleagues in our own department, the Department of Political Affairs, with colleagues in the Department of Peacekeeping Operations in the field and in New York in a complex array of peacekeeping operations. We also provide support to regional organizations and member states engaged in mediation and directly to conflict parties. Our support takes a variety of forms. We have in-house expertise, we have our standby team of mediation experts, and we have a wide roster of experts who we can call on for specific expertise. The standby team members are here themselves to describe some of the work they do and the particular expertise they bring to the many conflicts on which we are asked to become involved. Constitutional issues are almost hidden in many of the earlier agreements in a peace process. And if the mediators and the parties themselves don't pay attention to what they're doing then, those agreements can have long-term effects. Once the conflict has been um, solved through an agreement, um, very often what needs to be done is a reconciliation work. And in many conflicts, a political dialogue is needed in order to bring this reconciliation. One of the issues that often comes up in the context of peace mediation is how to grapple with questions of justice and accountability for crimes that may have taken place in the course of the conflict. What we're seeing now in this sort of classic peace justice tension is that there are good examples now around the world where an honest and creative approach to these issues can bring the parties to a resolution and can incorporate justice into a final peace agreement in a way that they are comfortable with that serves both the legal obligations of the state um, and also the interests of victims. Drafting is very important because it is, if, if you like, the conclusion of the entire process of mediation, the positions of the parties and negotiations the arguments that all end up in written text and it's the text that guides the peace that is signed. Conflict analysis is very important in a peace process because if you are engaged in a peace process to find a solution to that problem, you need to have a good understanding to know what the conflict is about, who are the main actors directly involved, who are the stakeholders who have interest in it, what are the needs of the actors and stakeholders and their interests? And if you know all this, you will be able to maneuver around and see how you can find flexibility. Conflict impacts women and men differently. So having women at the table brings in different perspectives and more practical uh, proposals uh, for resolution of the conflict. Inclusivity is not only about women and girls, but it's also about uh, geographical or religious or ethnic minorities. It's about including civil society. It's about including youth.